Checked all my options, worked off my dues, played all the cards, now there's nothing to lose. Don't want tomorrow to be like today, that's why I'm breaking away. I'm trying to run, I'm trying to hide, what can I win if I'm losing my pride? Won't let tomorrow be like today. You see, recently I've been reading a lot about alternative medicine, you know, like, you know, naturopathic cures, that kind of thing. See, the shortcomings of orthodox medicine, ointments and so on, is that they only, they only suppress the problem, they don't eliminate the toxins, which are the root cause. That's very interesting, Murray. Yeah, but see, that's the fundamental difference between natural cures and those dispensed by the medical profession. Ah! I'm not doing over here. Oh, yeah, I've got the book if you want to, you know, lend it all. I'm going to keep this stamp. I bet it'll be rare one day. Oh, it's best in Penny Black. I expect it will. <laughs> no, it's Saudi Arabia. Oh, this letter's from my cousin, Dudley. He's, uh, he's working there on the pipeline. Good crack there, eh, Oh, oh, but you see, your, uh, your social life's severely curtailed, you see. There's nothing to do but, like, play drafts or, or kick a ball around. It's too hot to kick a ball. Oh, any meal for me, then? Cheers, mate. Cheers, mate. Oh, you know who he was? Didn't expect no Clean news is good news as far as I'm concerned. I've got a letter from my cousin, Neville. He's uh, working in Saudi Arabia. Oh, yeah. Oh, lots of money, like, but uh, nothing to do. I oh, see the regime's very strict there, you see. You can't even drink. No, oh, I read about that somewhere. You can't even drink? Oh, it's, it's against their religion. I know, but your, your cousin's English, isn't he? Well, he's Birmingham, that's near enough this year. It's no different, size. You still couldn't abide by the rules of the regime. That's why booze is verboten. Oh, it's, it's against their beliefs or something. Oh, well, well one lights out. Well, it's, you know, it's, it's, it's a public flogging, at least. Never. No, it's right, that. It's a well-known fact. Well, one lady ill and you get flogged. In a marketplace. I expect a Newcastle Brown's life imprisonment. No, but, I mean, Barry's cousin's British. He's like, oh, so I hear with the addicts. I mean, without us, where are they? You still got to abide by this, I so, though. Ah, uh, bollocks. I mean, if we broke the law over here, we wouldn't be subject to the addicts' rules, would we? Well, of course we are. I mean, it's their country, isn't it? Their laws and that. No, I'm just saying, no, I mean, doesn't give them the right to flog us in marketplaces. Brenda's getting all edgy again. I don't know what she imagines I get up to around here, lad. It's obviously torturing myself with fantasies of my dissolute life. <laughs> Tell you what, send her a Polaroid of this dumper. That'll reassure her. <laughs> I mean, when she sees the crack I'm sending home, she must realise there's precious little left for me to enjoy a lavish lifestyle. You know, she's lonely, Nev, you know? I mean, it's, it's the worst time. Been a few weeks now. Ah, oh, I suppose so. 
I miss her, God knows, and home. Well, look, I'm going back for the weekend, I'll, uh, I'll drop in if you like. Are you? Ah, you have to. See the solicitor. Sort things out. Oh, the horse is going through, is it? Ah, uh, looks like it's rather shouting. Well, in her case, the cheering. Oh, how are you, man? Then I don't reckon your Vera's any happier about this divorce than you are. Aye, who knows? Look, I'm uh, just going to go in the capo's office, check the flight times. Hey, maybe I'll come, will you? That miracle I wasn't. What's the north kind of a shirt? I'm what is, it? What, what is it? What is Accident. Accident bollocks. It's because you lot's incompetent or Shut up, man. Or nobody did it on purpose. Oh, you take their sailing. We're meant to expect that. You want to decide what you fits you do. I want to what? You've got more mates amongst the Eriks than us, look, man. No, I haven't. You're my mate. I was more than. You are welcome to those friends. Made me mind up, I'm coming with you. Fine. Damn. Just getting too much around here, lad, especially that horse. Anyway, I want to see Brenda sort that out. You, uh, you not forgot about something? What? That incriminating masterpiece on your upper arm. Oh, God. I got so used to it, I'd forgot all about it. That's a good job I mentioned it, then, isn't it? Where is this bar, then? Uh, it's sort of in the old town, but not quite. It's like across this square, opposite that bar where all the mix hang out, you know? What do you call it? I forget, I just come across it by accident. It's packed full of strumpy, though. Oh, that'll do, bummer. I like them. Rump and strump. I promise you, it's full of it. <laughs> it's not one of them student bars, is it? I kind of stand them student bars. Ah, you get all sorts in there. It's good sounds, too. Van Halen, Sticks, ACDC. No chance of E. Boswell, I suppose. Who? Oh. E. Boswell. Sugar brush, come dance with me. Don't that ring a bell? <laughs> <laughs> Can't say it does, my son. I like the old ones, just bummer. I tell you what else bummer used to like. Yana. Remember Yana, Dennis? Well, vaguely. I don't recall any of her records, but she had enormous tits and lived somewhere near Brighton. Oh, and have shipped yourself. Oh, sorry, Dan. I just wanted to shave. I'll not be a minute. Yeah, fix that, then. Yeah, great idea, that. Cheers, mate. I read this spy book once, you know, where this bloke brings the plans through in a plaster cast. He pretends his legs broke, like, and then he comes across the border with a microfilm stuck down the plaster. Look like that, like. Yeah. Except he got caught and shot. Oh, cheers, horse. Great. I'm ready. Hey, have a pint of bitty for me, will you? Don't call it bitter where I come from, son. Nah, they call it sheep dip. It? Exhibition. It's the best beer you can get, pal. It's an offer of it. Aye, it's an Oh, see you, lads. Ta-da, Aye, it's an offer of it. Hey, listen, uh, you come back Sunday, bring the papers. Yeah, sure. I will do. Hello. Hi, Dennis. Ta-da. Hope it works out, by all. Great. Yeah. Cheers, mate. Hey. What do you mean? Hope it works out. I wonder if that was divorce, isn't it? No oh, way. Hey. Didn't realise that. 
Ah, it's news to me, I know. Is he definitely getting a divorce now? Sadly, yes. Well, look, you bloody done it. Hello. Come in. Come in. You must be Mr. Patterson. How are you? Clive Armitage. How do you do? And uh, how are you, Vera? I'm fine, thanks, Clive. Right. Uh, sit down, won't you? I was uh, just sorting through this lot. I'm sorry, but there's no one else here on a Saturday. Yeah, well, I appreciate that, but uh, I can't get here through the week. Uh, yes. Now, Vera, your wife uh, tells me that you haven't appointed your own solicitor yet. Am I right? No, well, you see, I didn't think it would get this far. I'm afraid it has got this far, and we have to move ahead. Well, I've done my best to accelerate things, haven't I? Dennis, there's no need to be so... So what, pet? When I knew she was serious, I said to myself, right, let's get this all over with as soon as we can. That's why I signed the letter. Yes, I have it here, Mr. Patterson. But I still can't represent both of you, ethically and professionally. And as you have a home and family, you should have legal counsel. It's for your own good. Look, I know what's good for me. It's all being stripped away by what's happening here and now. Do you mind if I uh, smoke? Uh, not at all. Uh, use that lighter. Sorry, you're sin. You have to consider division of matrimonial assets, such as the house and belongings. There are the periodical payments to consider, what we used to call maintenance for the wife and children. There's the question of access to the children. Oh, there's always more to go into it than you figure. I'll get a solicitor, I'll see to it. How long before it's all done? You should have a decree... Well, it depends on the court lists, but you should have a decree nice eye within three months, then six weeks to make it absolute. Absolute? That's a hard word to argue with. for a minute. I'm not used to c curtains and wallpaper. Yeah. Cup of tea in the journal. Oh, excellent. Do you know what time it is? Uh, it's after 11. Never. Uh-huh. I was up at nine. I've been to the shops already and I've had a coffee with my sister. Oh, hey, I slept like a log. Out to the world. It's jet lag. Oh, what have you been up to over there? Too many late nights? Oh, I have a very wild social life. I've never seen me bed for a week. Oh, who's then? Don't be daft. I don't know where you get these ideas from. <laughs> How will you spilling your tea, Neville? Oh, sorry. Hey, honestly. Come here. Neville! I'm like an animal. Ah, you didn't mind last night, though, did you? I just wondered where you'd got it from. Don't be daft. Didn't seem to hurt your arm. What? Your bad arm. Oh, well, like I said, it's not, not serious. You never told us how it happened. Well, it, it was some scaffolding fell down. Let's have a look. Wait. Oh, it should have a new dressing, shouldn't it? I'll do it. I'll get some new bandages. No. Oh, don't worry, pet. I was a nurse after all. Come on through, Dan. Oh, I was uh, just passing me. You were just at your breakfast? Oh, I just got up an hour ago. Hey, I slept like a log. I woke up in the fireplace, eh? Huh? <laughs> Where's your Brenda? She's out with the hairdressers. We're going on the town for a meal tonight. Oh, right, nice. Yeah, I'll make you some fresh tea. No, 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 don't bother, Neville. I thought I might uh, catch a pint down the mud boy. Oh, right, yeah. I've got an hour to kill, like I'm picking up the bands at one, taking them out for the day. Oh, nice. Oh, I could be if I knew where to take them. Where would you suggest? <sighs> Dunno. It's a bit cold for the beach, eh? Mm. It's too cold for the beach in bloody August, Ronnie. <laughs> They're a bit young for the match. Aye. 
Aye, we'd better let them get a bit older before we inflict that misery on them, eh? <laughs> hey, uh, how's your arm? By the way, is it on the end? Oh, hey, what a narrow escape I had. Brenda wanted to change the dressing. Never. Aye. How did you get out of that? Well, I told her they'd put this special ointment on which had to be allowed to set. Set? What did you say it was, aeroplane glue? Well, I had to say something. Well, it's nothing, bunny lad, compared to the deception that she imagined you're up to, eh? Oh, I've <laughs> set a mind at rest about that. You have to be firm with a man, Dennis. Really? Hey, I should have sought your advice earlier, Neville. Oh, how you were at the solicitors, weren't you? Mm -hmm. How'd it go? Come on, man, get your skates on. Let's get that paint. Oh, OK. Cup. Cheers, mate. Your health, old chum. Cheers, Bob. Hey, Den and Neville being their local now. Oh, don't we, Brandon? Let Neville out. Oh, Den's got no more trouble on that score, has he? Poor Den. You don't see much. Keeps it all inside. But he's taking his divorce kind of hard. He'll throw him off kilter, you'll see. How long have you been married, Bob? Oh, longer than I care to call by you. Oh, I don't mean her. I mean time's winged chariot. She's OK, is she, your old lady? Fine woman. Can't be easy looking after Bomber and five kids. No, I reckon I done her right there. It weren't exactly a union blessing ever. But since that night, it was consummated in the caravan outside Bridport. It meant it's a half the distance. Hey, in spite of your affection for Yana, eh? Oh, she don't know nothing about that. You're <laughs> sicker. Hey! Yeah, yeah, so he must have been working there Saturday. I'd have put a bit in myself. It wasn't for my angle, were it? Hey, it was a good club Wayne fan, wasn't it? Well, it be, lads. It's OK. But morning, schönes Wetter haben, dann machen wir wahrscheinlich einen aus. Ah, das wäre nett. Wohin? Ja, das ist mir ganz egal. Das lass ich. Look, don't have a no grudge about yesterday. That ours. You don't speak for the rest of us. Have a drink, right? Nein, danke. Suit yourself. Sorry. Could appear relations are strained. Pro tem. Do you mind if I take the paper's pack for the lads? Maybe the Express, will you? I like to read Roderick Mann. Oh, What's that great smell? I've got a leg of lamb. Oh, great. I just live on rubbish over there. All fried or out of tins. Should try and eat the right kinds of food, pet. Fruit's important. I've packed you a lot of oranges. And I'm making up some sandwiches for tonight when you get back. Wish I didn't have to go. No. Oh, I know you think we're just raving it up over there, but honestly, it's not like that at all. Not for me, any rate. Stop in most nights, or just pop over to the local. Well, you must go out sometimes, though. The disco's in that. Why do you? Oh, only on Thursdays. What happens Thursdays? The girls and me go to Tuxedo Junction. Girls going free that night. What's Tuxedo Junction? Oh, it's very exclusive. Lots of footballers get down there. Oh, do they? Why? Don't you trust us, then? As much as you trust me. Well, that's OK, then, isn't it? I could have had another four hours with him. The plane doesn't go until five. Dennis, I know. How often do they get the chance of going up to the country? Alan's going to drive them to Rothbury. Anyway, after you'd gone, what would they do but sit in front of the television as usual? Kids need it, Dennis. Does it never occur to you that I might need them? Let's not start. <laughs> oi, oi. Kevin, I told you to put a warm coat on. I'm not cold, ma'am. You will be up on them moors. Go on. Can I wear this, ma'am? Yes. Here. Put this round your head. 
She was never allowed a call, this one. Why is my dad not coming? Oh, I've got to go back to Germany. I'd come otherwise. You know that, don't you? Huh? Give a kiss. Mum, can I take your ball? You won't need it, Kevin. Just this once, you won't need your ball. He's going to play for Newcastle one day, aren't you, son, eh? Yeah. Me and Derek Newman are going to join together. I know you are. Come on, there's Alan. Well, to all of them, hey. You look after your mum, right? You're big enough to know, you know. Draw, Dad. Draw, Dad. To all. Love you. He's got a great call. Alan. Has he? To all of them, you best get off. How will you get to the airport? Well, I'll just hear a cab or never. Give him my love. And Brenda, too, if you see her, tell her I'll pop round her or a visit. Yeah. Sure. Well, take care then. You too. See, Dad. What? Oh, See? no, no thanks, Mox. God, what a depressing place, eh? Sunday night in a hut in Dusseldorf. Aye. Especially after all, mate. Too true. Hey, do you know exactly where the lads are? Oh, they'll be at this new bar that Wayne found. It's across the square in the old town, you know. Opposite that pub with a mixed drink. What do you say, Never? We'll go suicidal if we spend the night in here. Aye. A couple wouldn't hurt, would it? No. Come on. Come on, Mox. See you later, Moxie. Yeah, good hour, lad. Oh, there you are, my dear. Welcome back to the far end. We told you escape was impossible. Listen, keep your voice down, you know. Me? You are going to get us really murdered one day, you. You've only been back two minutes. You two's on my back already. Uh, yeah, I'm off for a slash, mate. Hey, if, if you pass that cigarette machine, get us 20 francs. Man, it's something like that, isn't it? You know, there's never anybody around on a Sunday. Cop, is that what's the law? Let's come and cop. It's only because I'm going to go and It's just my problem. Oh, my God, can it make it done? Last me here, Laura. Sorry? Nice spunk to see Deutsch, English. Cigarette? Can I? Oh, will it? Aye, sure. Light. Light. Come in. Neville. Bit to Neville. Aye. Maybe Tina. Neville's poor. What? Never. Never. They're jummy, are they? He was out of his wife, had you forgot? Twink? Eh? You buy me a twink? Oh, uh, sorry, I must go now. If I leave. Sorry. Wait. Where are you going? The Beagle building site. With taxi? Yeah. Well, must be off. No. It's my way, I shall wait. Crack it now? Drop me cell right in it. We like flint pay jobs. Oh, don't be stupid. We're just sharing a cab. Oh. I said I was off and she oh, says. Oh, I'd be off if I'd ice that. I wouldn't, like a Radford rain pipe. <laughs> the 
Okay. Oh, good eggs. I'd pay. Really? Oh. Please. You walk me? Walk? It's dark. Thank you. Keep it deep. So, what's so special about this place then? Oh, it's not a lot last night, Friday. Couldn't move for storms. I loved the Playboy Mansion, it were. So, you and us were here both nights, were you? Yeah. So, right. Well, that explains it, doesn't it? What? You're frightened them all off. Oh. We warned ours not to use these charms. Ah, oh, Halloween, bollocks. Nev, you haven't talked with the old comer last night yet. Oh, it's no run of flash. You're all tucked up when we got back. Aye. Quick silver, never that. Yeah, what's the word? Uh, Nev get jumped last night or something, yeah, eh? I pulled a bird, mate. I couldn't believe it. All outside. Huh? Now, please, outside. What's a crack here? All British, come with me. Really? Only the British. Not the English. The other are against our side. Hey, what's going on? What's going on? What takes the right on the wand here? And further durchgehen. Und schön da ran. So, da ran. Ja, ein Stück weiter. Komm, und da hinten ran. Oder? Noch weiter. Je mehr ich loszukommen versuchte, desto gewaltsamer wurde er. Er schlug mir auf den Kopf und schlug auch mein Gesicht gegen die Hauswand. Er hörte damit auf, als ich zu Boden rutschte und weinte. Er trat noch ein paar Mal nach mir, auch ins Gesicht, bevor er wegrannte, weil der Hund meines Nachbarn zu bellen anfing. Ich versichere alle Angaben der Wahrheit entsprechend nach bestem Wissen und Gewissen gemacht zu haben. Bevor Sie unterschreiben, möchte ich, dass Sie es noch einmal durchlesen. Lesen Sie sorgfältig und lassen Sie sich Zeit. Vielleicht möchten Sie etwas ändern oder vielleicht ist etwas Ihrer Aufmerksamkeit entgangen. Möchten Sie einen Kaffee? Ja, bitte. Ich lasse welchen kommen. Und wie gesagt, lassen Sie sich Zeit. Please, why am I here? Me, here, here and why? Ich glaube, das ist doch wohl vollkommen klar. I, I don't understand German. Doesn't anybody here speak English? Will somebody tell us what's going on? Sie scheinen immer noch nicht zu wissen, was Sie angerichtet haben. Letzte Nacht brachten Sie das junge Mädchen nach Hause. Sie versuchten, sich ihr sexuell zu nähern. Als sie sich wehrte, wurden sie aggressiv und griffen sie gewaltsam an. I don't understand. The police say that the girl, she was assaulted, beaten up. 
Yeah, well, anybody could see that. What's that got to do with Neville? You saw what happened. She pointed him out. Last night, she say he beat her up. Oh, that's bloody madness, man. Look, you know young Neville. You know he's not capable of a thing like that. Don't you? It would surprise me, yes, I admit. It bastard should. It is in police hands, all right? No, it's not all right. Look, that young lad's down that cop shop, right? He's alone. He'll be scared stiff. He'll need a lawyer. Now, you give me an hour off work. I'll get on there, try and sort it out. All right. He should have help. Wait for me. Denken Sie, wo Sie hingehen? Wir brauchen jemanden zum Dolmetschen. Sie haben Ihre Arbeit. Ich gehe mit Ihnen. And I, I dropped her off at her apartment. You go with girl. Pardon? Fragen Sie ihn, ob er zusammen mit dem Mädchen aus der Taxi gestiegen ist. You went with her to her apartment. Oh, what? She asked us to. She said it was dark and, and she asked us to take her in. But I only went part of the way. Then well, she asked us inside, but I said no, I had to get back. So I left her and went to find another cab. Fragen Sie ihn, wie lange es gedauert hat, bevor er das andere Taxi bekam. How long did it take you to get another cab? Only about ten minutes. I was back in the hut soon after. Er sagt ungefähr zehn Minuten und kurz danach war ich schon zurück in der Baracke. Das ist Zeit genug. Was he say? He said it was long enough. <laughs> long enough for what? I was only with her a minute at the most. And it took us about ten minutes to find the cab. You can check the times with, with the barman and, and, and all my mates and, the, and both cabbies. What did he say? He said he wants to question you and everybody who was with Neville last night. He's coming back to the building site with us. Well, can we not go and see the lad? Please, Dennis. It'll not help. Let's see him this time. Aye. Poor sod. Won't they let him out? They asked to let you out unless he charges you. They've charged him? With what? I don't know, whatever the Germans call it. Assault, I suppose. At least he's got a lawyer now. I suppose it's the equivalent to our legal aid. Apparently he's a good enough bloke, but I mean, how can we tell? Well, what about Bell? I mean, don't they have that over here? They want 3,000 marks in his passport. 3,000? How are we going to manage that? God knows. We'll have to have a whip round, I suppose. Where's all the lads at? We're over the club. We're all skimp, man. It's only Tuesday. Oh, Jesus, what a bloody mess. Look. If you lot want to make anything of this, just forget about it, right? You should know young Neville better. Please. We know him, as you say. We wish to help. You do? Yeah. Wait, you we don't have much car. Oh, cheers. Look, we need bail. Did we do? Uh, money, you know, to get him out. Ah. I don't mind. Sure, man. Sie brauchen Geld für Kaution. Ach so. Wir könnten natürlich zusammenlegen, ja? Ja, ja. Ja? Ja, ich bin sehr dafür. Gut, das stimmt. 
Okay. We all put in. No! Now what? Just because I'm two minutes late. Come here. Telephone from England. But you can't be one of me, man. Please take it. Where in here? Hello, who's that? Hello, this is Ozzy. Who's that? Brenda Hall. Never boy. Oh, oh, hi. Is he there, please? Uh, no, he's not at the moment. Is he all right? Oh, he's, he's fine, why? Well, it's just that he usually calls us Monday nights. Mondays and Fridays without fail. Only never called last night. Well, I had this number for emergencies, you see, and, well... No, well, there's nothing to worry about. He's had an accident, hasn't he? No, no, he's fine in himself. It's just, um... It's just what? Why can't he come to the phone? Well, uh, he's had a bit of bother leak. Hey, Oz. Good news is, the Eric's having a whip round for Neville's Beal. Isn't that great, eh? <laughs> What's the matter? Uh, well, the bad news is, Brenda's coming over. What? Dennis Patterson, you're the chap I spoke to on the phone. You're Neville's... I miss defence, oh. if it goes that far. Thank God you speak good English. <laughs> the Dusseldorf judiciary knows that only too well. They give me many Englander. Well, I'm sorry, I mean Englishmen. <laughs> Own Scots, too. Uh, football, hooligans, <laughs> my butter and bread. <laughs> uh, I've brought a German friend, just in case. Uh -huh. Helmut Fischer. Bauer. Angenehm. Ganz meinerseits. No, then nehmen wir noch mal Augenblick hier Platz, ne? Um, what do you mean, if, if it goes that far? I think there is not a case. I've now seen copies of the girl's statement and also the report from the police log. Well, I'll give you translations, of course. Uh, you'll see, <laughs> there are many holes. However, I must now do some homework of my own, just in case. See witnesses, verify facts, etc., etc., etc. Well, I can uh, bring the lads in whenever you like. Oh, good, good. Uh, Tunsi, Tunsi, Aber wir sollten wenigstens über all das weiter reden, wenn Neville entlassen ist. <laughs> Damit haben Sie natürlich vollkommen recht. Sicher. Oh, he says, um, maybe we should discuss all this after we got Neville yeah. out. Yeah, I got that, yeah. That's a good idea. Uh, did you bring the, uh, the, the yeah. assurance? Yes. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, it's all here. It, uh, it's a... It'll just need uh, a lot of coat. Oh. oh, yeah, oh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> oh, did you win all this uh, in a poker school? No, no, we had a whip round. I'm sorry. Yeah. <laughs> um, die Jungs haben zusammengelegt. Oh, ausgezeichnet. Na, das bedeutet doch wohl, dass uh, Neville has many good friends, nicht wahr? Ja. Yeah. <laughs> Do you want to stop for a drink? No. Just let's get back there. Eh? Hey, we would have had you out earlier, you know, if we'd had the money. Mr. Bauer said the lads had a whip roll, Nick. Oh, well, hey, you can thank Helmut and all the Eric's for that. I can't thank you enough. <laughs> oh, yeah, bunny lad. Get it out of your system, eh? Then you can face the lads. Hey, they're all dying to see you, you know, Nev. <laughs> I never thought I'd miss Oz. Yeah. <laughs>
Oh, that's right. It's full of holes. Look, according to this police report, they saw this girl, this uh, Bettina, near the street where she lives. The patrol car spotted her, noticed she was in distress, but she ran away. They followed her on foot and caught up with her. So what exactly is the point? Look, she ran away, right? She didn't report it. She didn't go to the police or register a complaint or whatever they call it. Right. So when she sees the law, does a runner? Absolutely. Hmm, but see, the prosecution might argue that the girl evaded the police because, because she didn't want the aggro. Like, oh, I see most rape cases, they don't get reported, you know, because the victim don't want the stigma. All right. Yeah, yeah, fair enough, Barry, fair enough. But the other alternative is she was uh, trying to protect somebody. The boyfriend? Boyfriend? Wait, the bloke she was with in the bar? There were a few shaggy-haired louts hanging around her. Ah, oh, I know, it's right. There was, there was uh, one bloke in particular, right? Right, she was having a ding-dong with him, right? Yeah, he looked very beady, he did, when Nev went off with her. Oh, that's why she tried to pull you, then, to get up the other geezer's nose. Yeah. You mean twerk Nev's irresistible charm? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Listen, I get friends. Me find these. Who you look for? Yeah. Right, that's more like it. Let's find the bastards and give them a good scoot. No, I think that's... I, I think so, but no, look, you just stay put on. Oh, no. Look, we know the bars. Speak language. Ask questions. Need someone to identify him, won't you, though? Well, yeah. you, you and me go, Bon. We'll know them. Right, right, Joe. I think they had a jeep. Yeah, well, uh, make some coffee. Good luck, lads. Yeah, I'm going to go for a shower. Fancy a couple of jobs later, Nip. Right, you're on, Wayne. Thing like this really lets you know who your friends are, eh? You're right there, it does that. Listen, uh, someone I've got to tell you. Uh, well, look, I've found it all the boss, but I'll see you later, lad. <clears throat> what? Brenda. She's coming over. What? She knows all about How did she find out? Well, you didn't ring on Monday, you see. I mean, she panicked, she rang the site. Oz was passing like. Oz! I might a bloody no Well, look, it wasn't entirely Oz's fault, Neville, you know. I mean, he, he was caught on the spot. I mean, he, he couldn't explain why you weren't available without her thinking you were ill or something. Anyway, I rang her straight back. But she was adamant. Anyway, she missed today's flight, but she'll be over first thing in the morning. They should have kept me inside, lad. What for? Cos I'm gonna kill Oz. You're looking very happy today. I am, Pet. Last night, out and his mates found the uh, bloke who beat up the girl. Oh, yes? Yeah, it looks like it. I think they uh, persuaded him to accompany them down the clink. Clink? Police station. Oh. Anyway, we've all got to go down there for testimony and that, but uh, will you do me a favour? For you? For you, I do a favour. Well, Neville's wife, she's flying in. Any chance you could nip off and meet her? Sure, of course. I don't know how to thank you. Mm, don't worry, I'll think of some way. Thanks ever so much. That is all right. The reservation is in your name, OK? Goodbye. Cheerio. Hello, Pet. Oh, Dennis. I know, I know. Come on, there's no need to fret. It's all over with. He's a free man. What? Well, he's concluding formalities, but all charges are dropped. They've got the other bloke. Honest? Well, don't look so surprised. You don't think Neville did it, did you? Oh, no, of course not. Aye, hey, Some of our German friends, they uh, found the bloke and turned him in. I think they uh, extracted their own confession. He didn't look too healthy. Well, what exactly happened, then? Well, uh, this bloke 
Look, you see, he was like the boyfriend. Well, he got the needle when he saw... Neville me. take her home. Well, he bit her up, you see. Then the police saw her condition and she fingered Nev. He did take her home, didn't he? Look, Brenda, the point is... That is the point, Dennis. Oh, of course, I knew that Neville didn't do the things they said he did, but he took that girl home. He went with her. He didn't. Look, she imposed herself on him. She shared his cab. Look, you know young Neville, he's so polite, he'd, he'd give Hitler a ride. Hey, you're going to make me very angry, Brenda. Look, like what? Look, if you can't see how much that lad cares for you, you're a very silly lass. He cares so much it hurts. It hurts him to be away from home. It hurts every minute he has to spend over here, sacrificing everything he wants so that you can enjoy something better in the future. Look, he's the only bugger in Germany who isn't on the pull. Oh, you're his friend. Ah, and you're his wife, and you don't seem to know that lad as well as I do. Look, the reason he got into trouble is because he didn't go with a girl. If he'd been like the rest of us, he'd have gone. Oh, I'd have gone, he'd have done the business. She'd have been content. Nobody'd have been none the wiser. But he's not like the rest of us. He gave her the elbow. She got vindictive. He didn't want to know. That's what happened. Oh, so. Look, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I, I, I didn't mean to sound off at you like that. It's just... Well, you two, you've got a marvellous marriage. Now, I appreciate that more than most, because mine's down the toilet. Oh, you're right, Dennis. Well, what happens now? Well, let's go and fetch the lad, eh? Well, thanks. Thanks for everything. No, you are. For me, it was a change from defending Britishers who've broken up bars. <laughs> thanks very much, Herr oh, Bauer. Bit a bit again, you saying. And your helmet and your mates. I don't know how you managed to nail them, man. Didn't surprise me, like. Oh, aye. What was that like? They have ways of making you talk. Oh, are you going to introduce us to your friends, <laughs> Neville? Certainly not. We're going back to the hotel and we're out for a meal tonight. <laughs> Never mind, Pet, she's not worth it. I'll give you a ride back to the hotel, yes? Oh, cheers. Uh, yeah, over there, uh, yes. Mr. Robert, have a word, please. Mind. Oh, uh, just a minute, Pat. What's the matter? Look, um, I suppose, like, sooner or later, you and Brenna will be going to bed, like. What business is that of yours? If that's the case, I, uh, I think you should take precautions. What do you mean? Brenda's on the pill. Oh, oh, but, uh, still think you should wear this, though. I appreciate it. Uh, you've been a lot of help. Oh, it really was not necessary, but uh, thank you. Oh, thank you. Oh, what about the happy couple? Oh, uh, Brenda's staying over. Neville's going to take her for a meal and uh, show the old town. Uh -huh. And you're going with them? What do they need me for? Oh. Well, perhaps you could take me out for a meal then. Yeah? Hmm. Or oh, are you another one of those married men? Yeah, I'm afraid I am, yeah. But uh, only just. <laughs> 